Greetings from the Theme Rex team. Today we will show you how to easily add a multimodal AI chat to your website. This feature is already available in all our recent themes, and we will use the Anne WordPress theme as an example. Now, your site user can interact with your AI chat using both texts and images. Let's see how it works on a simple example. Let's upload an image, for example, this one with the pasta, and we will ask the AI chat to describe what is in the photo. We click Send, and the image with the text is sent to the AI for processing. In a few seconds, we receive a reply stating that there is a 500-gram pack of Tubetti Rigatti pasta. The reply even indicates the cooking time and the table on which the pasta is laid. We can continue interacting with the chat. Let's ask where is this pasta from? Unfortunately, it says it does not see the country of origin. That's fine. Indeed, it is not shown on this side of the pack, but let's ask how many portions we can get from this pack. After a couple of seconds, it replies with the estimation. Great, now let's see how we can create this chat on our website without any specific coding or AI skills. Navigate, Dashboard, Theme Panel, Theme Rex Add-ons. Here we need AI Helper, OpenAI API. On this page, we need to enter our OpenAI token. By clicking on the link below, you can visit an OpenAI site, create your account, and generate your token. We already have one, so we will just paste the token here and click Save Options. Let's again return to the OpenAI API page. There are several important settings that we covered in previous videos. Today we are interested in the Chat Models section. Make sure you have a GPT-40 model in your list. As of January 2025, it's the only model that supports multimodality. This may change over time though. If it's not there, you can add it manually. Now, let's return to our website. And let's go to the Personal Assistance demo. Here we have the chat that we already tested. Let's open the page with the Elementor Page Builder. Okay, now, let's delete this pre-made chat and we will create it from scratch. On your left side panel, search for a chat widget. Good, let's drag and drop the AI Helper Chat widget. Perfect. When we click on it, we will see its settings on our left side panel. Here we can control the layout, prompt, texts, and tags. But today, we are interested in chat settings. In previous videos, we've talked about the free and premium modes, chat usage limits. Now, we will choose the correct model. As you can see, there are different important settings. Today, we will use just a few of them. To enable multimodality, let's enable this toggle. Once done, publish the changes. Let's go to our page. Here we can see our chat that we've just added. Now we will review a few ideas on how one can use this multimodal AI chat. We've prepared several images and let's experiment with them. The first one is the Italian math problem. We need to find the weight of each animal and their total weight. So let's go to our chat, attach the image with the problem, and ask the AI to resolve the ask and return the results in English. Perfect, in a few seconds it returns the result and the way it came up with it. Now we can click on New Chat and try the second image with pasta. But this time we will ask AI to translate the label into English. Excellent! This way you can translate any photo into any language. These can be labels, books, signboards, manuals, etc. 
And as usual, we can continue asking the AI some questions in this thread. Okay, let's move on to the next case. Let's say you have a large contract and before reading it all first, you want AI to highlight the most important things for you. I have such a contract. Let's upload these pages to the chat and ask it to outline the main things that I must know. Perfect. It extracted the most important things from each paragraph, including information about the orders, account, and fees. Let's ask it to explain in one sentence the subject of this contract. And it replies that it's a bank deposit contract. This way, it's much easier to work with documents. The next example is a sales diagram. As you can see, it's a complex pre-sale workflow. Let's attach this diagram to our chat and ask it to analyze it and provide improvement tips. We encourage you to review your technical tasks, texts, diagrams, charts with AI. It can be very helpful. Good, it provides some tips to improve the decision points, simplify flow, etc. Let's ask it to point me to the exact branch that can be simplified to improve the sales flow. This time it replies that it can provide only general tips and suggestions. Okay, that's fine. We will move on. Next, we have a cute image of a cat and a dog. This time we will ask the chat to create a story for kids out of this image. Excellent. Quite quickly, it returns the story named The Adventures of Buddy and Whiskers. There is some plot and some dialogue. Let's improve the story and ask AI to add a rabbit to the plot. Okay, now we have a story called The Adventures of Buddy, Whiskers, and Thumper, and it is a bit longer. Let's move to another example. Imagine you've had a shopping day and you have several receipts from different stores where you've purchased different products. We will upload the photo of these receipts and ask the AI chat to categorize expenses by product type and calculate the totals. Keep in mind that there are some topics, like medical advice or personal data processing, that OpenAI will not reply directly. Excellent! It sent us the table of our expenses categorized by type. We can see that now all the fruits are together, dairy is together, bread products are together, and vegetables are also united under the same category. Now, we will ask it to calculate all the fish and meat, as they are usually the most expensive ones. Good, now we know that we spent around 13 pounds on meat and fish. In the last case, we will do a bit differently, and we encourage you to try and experiment with it. Let's close our page and return to Elementor. Click on the chat and go to Chat Settings. Here we will add a system prompt. These are custom instructions to AI that create an additional context. These instructions will be sent to AI along with whatever the site user sends via the chat. This way, you can control the input and output for your chat. 
For our case, let's ask it to act as a calorie calculator. It accepts a photo of the food and text from the user. Then, it should analyze the photo, determine the products, their number and weight, and then finally return the calories. This way, your user does not have to instruct the chat. It already knows what to expect from the user and what particular steps it should take. Use your imagination and prompt AI to act in a particular way. What steps it should take, the style of the reply, the role model, the level of professionalism, etc. We don't have to correct all the typos. It will understand us. Let's publish the changes and go to our page. Now let's upload the photo of our plate and it's enough to say go. Excellent. It revealed the ingredients, estimated their weight and calculated calories. It also adds that these numbers are an approximation, but this is close to reality. We can even go further and ask it to suggest some tips to reduce calories in our meal. And it replies with a suggestion to partially replace avocado with cucumber slices, substitute lentils with zucchini noodles, and so on. Great, these are just a few of the ideas for using the multimodal AI chat. Come up with your own ideas. Hope this video was helpful. Please make sure to subscribe for more useful tutorials.